So during the gameplay review of Breakpoint about a month back, we were given a brief breakdown on what kind of activities will be available at the new bivouac where they went ahead and mentioned things like fast travel, crafting, setting time of day, and buffs. But we never really got a detailed explanation on what all of these new buffs would do. So in today's video, we'll be going into exactly what these buffs do and what they have to offer, as well as how long each and every one of them will last once you activate them. So like always, let's waste no more time and get right into the video. Now, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Elite's Academy over on Twitter for these amazing sheets that he made and allowed me to share with you guys. So if you guys are active on Twitter and want to stay up to date with all breakpoint info make sure that you guys give them a follow in the description i'm going to have a direct link to their twitter so make sure that you guys go and check that out so now to get into the good stuff once you've entered the bivouac during your game time you'll be shown the following three options preparations tactics and crafting now to access the buffs you will want to head over to preparations where you will find six options eating hydrate tech review stretching weapon reviews and resources. Each one of these buffs based off of gameplays that I've seen with the buffs activated will last a total of 30 minutes. Now it's very possible one of these could last for a shorter term, but from the four I've seen, they've capped out at about 30 minutes. Now, as you can see on the right side of this sheet, eating will grant you a plus 10% injury resistance. Hydrate will give you plus 20% fatigue resistance. Tech review plus 10% drone range. Stretching plus 10% stamina weapon review plus 5% accuracy, and finally resources a plus 5% experience multiplier. Each time one of these is activated, you will go into a cinematic scene where it will show the corresponding action where you will then be granted the buff after. As far as I'm aware, only one buff can be active at a time, so don't think that you'll be stacking all of these during your playthrough. Although that sounds great, it's not happening. In my opinion, I think the feature is genius, mainly because it covers every field that at least one person is going to struggle with at some point. So a good example would be someone who struggles with getting injured more than their buddies can now go to the bivouac, give his squad mates a quick little short pee break while he sits down and eats to gain the buff. And that will allow him to play a little closer to the caliber of his squad mates. But of course, this is just my opinion. Uh, I am really curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. Which one will you be using the most and how many of you will not be using the feature at all? Let me know in the comments, but just a quick little video today. Thought this information was really interesting and something I feel like if you haven't played the game yet, it hasn't really been touched up on much. But again, big, big shout out to Elite Academy. Uh, make sure to show them some love for providing these screenshots. Like I said, all of their information is going to be in the description. That's going to do it for today's video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one.